here we go. We're leaving Santa Quinn. It's July 14th and we're on our way to the Big Sky Music Festival and Glacier National Park, Montana. More to come. Well, only two hours into our trip and we are now in the land of the potatoes. Welcome to Idaho. Man, man, oh man, how cute is that? It sure is beautiful here. We're almost to Island Park. Driving through the Tarkey National Forest. Henry Lake out there. Listening to Jinx. On our way to see Jinx in Whitefish, Montana. Well, the ride across the Madison has been beautiful, even though it's pouring rain. It's the Madison Valley. Yes, guy down there. The roads, all the side roads are dirt. Sidewalks are made out of wood planks. Here's the menu. Here we are at the road agent's roost. And I got beef and a potato patsy. It looks pretty good. This is a German dish. Tea and scandal. I wonder if we can find any scandal or if maybe we're the scandal. All right, let's go into the mercantile and see if there's anything fun in here. All right, this town is adorable. Can't get enough. First night, we stayed here at the Bonanza Inn. It's pretty rustic on the outside, but really nice and clean on the inside. And this adorable town with dirt roads and mountain scenery all around, tons of old historical buildings. We're just a block off the main drag where all the shops and restaurants are. The meager cabin where the governor stayed back in the 1800s. Well, we're driving through Virginia City. And it, down, just down the road is Nevada City. And the canyon that you go through is called Alder Gulch. Back in the 1800s, this was the uh, richest placer gold, placer gold strike at about a hundred million dollars. There's only about 160 people that live here full time, but back then there was about 5,000 people that lived here. It's super cute. The Historical Society has done a fabulous job keeping this town as original as possible. In Nevada City, you can stop and pan for gold if you'd like. Look at all this equipment from the old days. That's awesome. More of Nevada City. Chicago, Milwaukee, St. Paul. Great Northern. I don't know if they make movies here but they definitely mm -hmm. could. Maybe this is where the boss lived. It's a pretty big house for that time frame. Well, we're about 20 miles to Butte and I'm super glad we jumped off I-15 and went over to Virginia City and now we're just kind of taking little, little highways through Montana and it's gorgeous. Driving through Butte, Montana and there's a huge mine out there. Driving across I-90 towards Missoula. They get some rain up here in Montana in July. North on 141 is gorgeous in every direction. Continue on Montana 83 North for 91 miles. Salmon Lake. Swan Lake, Montana. It's been a long ride, but it sure is a beautiful ride. Lots of pine trees and meadows, grass as high as the horse's back, some lakes. Well, we're almost to Karam, where we're going to stay for the weekend, and uh, we're just on the west side of Glacier National Park. Your destination will be on the right.
Your destination is on the right. Oh, how cute. Here they are. Home sweet home for the next three nights. Oh my heck. What is this? It's bear spray. <laughs> well, I hope we see a bear. <laughs> Maybe we should bait him with little smokies. <laughs> This is what we came for. Big Sky Music Festival. Let's go get some merch first thing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we now honor the greatest nation in the world with the singing of our national anthem. Montana. We're excited. Let me see it. Good. Well, this morning we're just gonna kind of tour around and look at the Flathead River and Flathead Lake and then later we'll go back to the music festival but it's so pretty here. I'm gonna sell the house and move to Montana as soon as I get beautiful canola fields all over. They're used as a rotation crop up here because they are a pest control plant and increase wheat production summers. Here we are at Flathead Lake. It's the largest lake west of the Mississippi up here in northern Montana. Those islands out there are pretty cool. Now we're cruising through Kalispell, headed up to Whitefish. This is a pretty big city. Looks like you could probably find anything you wanted here. It's the biggest city we've been in for quite some time. So far, getting into Whitefish Lake has been a little difficult. It's pretty busy around here. Lots of residential areas. Fish. And white fish just wandering through. There's a lot going on here, so if you like a busy scene, this is a good place to stay. Tucker has an old hotel keys. Got a dash full of trash and other band CDs. Got a crack windshield and Mardi Gras beat. Apples don't fall far from tree right You wanna know where this boy's coming from You gotta know where this boy came from It's gonna take some time and a no job If you wanna see where I belong Where they bury this boy's bones Where they live so calls on Back in 35, that's me and Uncle Joe Just trying to survive a cotton farm In a Great Depression And if it looks like we were scared to death Like a couple of kids just trying to save each other You should have seen it in color Yeah. 
this one on here? Way slow getting out on night two. Been sitting here for probably at least 30 minutes trying to get out of the parking lot of the Big Sky Music Festival. So Saturday night is much crazier than Friday night. When gas is $5 a gallon, this is surf and turf. Here's where we stayed in Karam. We had a nice little suite. It's not crowded here. It's beautiful. We've seen a few deer run across the road. Oh, this is the way to the road to the sun. We don't have a permit for today. We do for tomorrow. So we just parked at the entrance and we're taking a little walk and checking things out. But there's the river. There's a bunch of river rafters on here when we drove through. And now they're gone. We're walking down a trail on the middle fork of the flathead. This is just on the outside of the road at the sun entrance. West Glacier. Just cruising along the bottom of Glacier on Highway 2. This is Karan. You can see it's a pretty low key town. We're really glad that we stayed here. The music festival is only 20 miles away, so it doesn't take us too long to get there, and it's not too bad getting back. I'd recommend staying here. Drink 
front of you. Throw your window down and take a picture. Comes a bear. Hey, buddy. Beautiful day. We got a little weather. We just barely seen a bear and it happened so quick. It, we almost ran it over. Jason had to hit the brakes. To say this place is beautiful is just such an understatement. It's incredible. We're almost to Logan Pass, but I think we're gonna have to turn around and go back to Lake McDonald and do our tour, and then we'll come back up here this afternoon. Maybe we'll see that cute little bear on the way back down. Headed back to Lake McDonald Lodge. It's pouring rain. We have a boat tour scheduled in an hour and you know, I'll hope they, I hope they're a rain or shine kind of tour company and maybe that it's covered. Oh, there's the boat. Well, we made it to the right place. Now we just need to wait for our time. Oh, there it goes. I think that's the group before us. This beautiful Lake McDonald. Glacier National Mount. Time to load for our Lake McDonald boat tour. A little bit of fish in the water right here at the dock.
our village. This is where hopefully we're going to see where the water is super clear and all those colorful rocks. That's a wild raspberries along the trail and ferns. Just so cool. There's a little buck sitting along the lake. Doesn't seem to be too concerned that I'm here. Do you see that horse up there in the hike on the hill? The snow up there. Looks like it has a horse running across it. Can you see that? This is cool. There's little waterfalls all over the place. This one's pretty big. Yeah, Logan Pass. It's July 18th. It's super cold. Picking his head up, and now he's going. It's a grizzly. We're, in, we're at St. Mary, just at the entrance to Glacier. And the grizzly was giving us a little show. Duck Creek. We're staying in these cute little cabins. And in the morning, we're going to head into Penny Glacier. Well, we're leaving Duck Lake. Um, it's probably around 5.30 in the morning, and we're going to head out to a Glacier, and specifically going to Many Glacier today. Right into Many Glacier. Swiss Alps. Well, we're leaving Many Glacier. It's a pretty short road. We didn't see any wildlife. Um, just not our moment, not our time. And we're headed to Browning to go to a, a museum. See what comes up with that. Looking down on St. Mary. Yellowstone. We're just checking out all the shops and in the morning we're gonna go inside the park. All right, bye-bye West Yellowstone. We're 
headed into the park. The stop is the Yellowstone National Park and we have our fingers crossed to see a bear and a wolf. It's a gorgeous morning here in Yellowstone. A couple of fly fishermen up there. Oh, we have only been in the park for just a couple minutes and we found a herd of elk. A little bit of steam or maybe geyser activity right here. And then down below is a big herd of elk. Beautiful Madison River. We just pulled over. There's a couple herrings out there moving around. And we thought maybe it was a bear and we got really excited. The herrings are cool. found our first bear in Yellowstone. We're on our way to Roosevelt Tower, so we're between Canyon and Roosevelt. Oh, there he goes. He's like, I'm done. Here we are at the Lamar Valley and we can't go in. That's my favorite spot. The floods took out the roads. There's an elk. So far we haven't seen the giant herds of bison that you're used to seeing in Yellowstone, but we've seen a few satellite bulls. Here's two nice looking bulls right here. And then across the river, there's a big fellow over there too. Oh my heck, I've never seen them go out in the water. That's awesome. Oh, hey, maybe we're going to see one of those famous tourist videos shortly. Buffalo crossing the river. Get to his buddy over there. fly fishing down there and they swim on by. Pelicans and Canadian geese. Some geysers out there. We are at the edge of Yellowstone Lake. 
a little lake right here. Big lakes out there, but there's a buffalo right down there. And we're, we're on our way to Cody, so on to the next adventure. Yellowstone Lake. Gorgeous wildflowers all around. This lake is huge. Well, we made it to Cody and um, we've been wanting to come to this museum for a while, so that's what we'll do and go from there. There's Custard's actual wallet, shoulder pads, hat, Buffalo Bill's actual coat. Another Buffalo Bill outfit and saddle. Annie Oakley's outfit, gun, chest, gloves. Here's all the cast of characters for the show. Buffalo Bill's private tent. Teddy Roosevelt's saddle. Amelia Earhart's jacket. That might take you a minute to get around the park. Pretty decent sized buck down in the field right there. Against him. Oh my gosh. Nice. So long, Cody. We're headed to Du Bois. Just out of Thermopolis, Wyoming. Headed to Du Bois. It's a pretty little canyon here in the river on the right. It's so dirty. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, there is a huge lake out there. No idea what it is, but somewhere in Wyoming. Where was that town we just went through? I don't even remember. Thermopolis. Thermopolis. Just southish of Metropolis, or Thermopolis. <laughs> I haven't been drinking. Well, here's that big lake again. It's called Boysen Reservoir. Well, we left Cody about three hours ago and decided to hit this cute little town of Du Bois, Wyoming. Never even heard of it, but a friend of a friend lives here. So we'd come, we decided to check it out. Oh, look how cute it looks. Wandering around here in Du Bois. It's just this cute little town. Fun art. He does. like he found an arrowhead. Nice one. The stagecoach in. That's where we're staying. The boys arch. Well, that's a new one. Drive up liquor store. Night seven. We're staying here in Du Bois. A super cute little Wyoming town. The view from our room here at the stagecoach hotel. Beautiful drive towards the Tetons. Well, excuse the dirty windshield, but that mountain was pretty cool. Still just headed towards the Tetons. Well, we made it into the Grand Tetons. It is so pretty up here. Now we're looking for a bear here. We were lucky to see one in Glacier, two in Glacier and one in Yellowstone. The gorgeous Grand Tetons out there in the distance. We are in the Tetons. This is Elk Flats. But there's not out. There's a ton of buffalo. Huh. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. We found a grizzly. See that yellow shimmer to the left of those buffalo? That's that's the grizzly. I wish I could get a better close, a better. Grizzly is the, kind of the yellow spot right in the middle. He's wandering around with all the buffalo. There's antelope in the background. So 
walking down the trail at the Cunningham cabin turn off. And um, it's beautiful, but there's also a large herd of elk down there. Well, this is the Cunningham cabin. He was one of the first settlers to this valley. And in the beginning, he opposed the Grand Teton National Park, but in the end, he was an advocate and him and several other ranchers from the area sold 33 million acres, I believe, to Rockefeller, which then Rockefeller donated it to become a national park. There's the detail on the Cunningham cabin. He was one of the original settlers, ended up selling to Rockefeller in an effort to preserve this area and expand the Grand Teton National Park. Rockefeller donated it for the National Park. Now we're entering Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Pretty little flower pot. Uh, look at all those antlers. Yankee Doodles Cafe and Alpine. Driving through Afton, Wyoming, which has the coolest antler arch of all the arches that we've seen. We're about four hours from home and on the last leg of our journey, we're just driving through the Salt River Valley. Well, we're back in Utah. We're headed home. We decided to kind of take one last little detour before our home. So we're heading over the Mare Lake Highway through the UNS and should be home in a couple hours. It's been a great trip. We've seen some awesome things and we recommend you get out and see Glacier because that was our favorite part. A couple of fun little towns were Virginia City, Montana and Du Bois, Wyoming. But lots of fun places in between. Pass Lake on the Uintas. Watch a little fish jumping down in there. Thank you.